DDOs are organizations or companies that believe that there doesn't need to be a compromise between the ongoing development of individuals and great outcomes for organizations. That work contains all of the opportunities, challenges, and yeah, problems for people to solve together that will allow them to grow, continue to grow as humans. Robert Keegan from Harvard, he's a longtime organizational psychologist, and he started noticing in the last five or ten years there were some organizations that were exhibiting this type of uh, philosophy, and he uh, started to curate uh, case studies, and from there kind of uh, broaden out his hypothesis around what deliberate development in organizations could bring to companies. So state of DDO, I, I'm trying to find a better metaphor, one that's maybe less less yucky, um, but I feel like it's uh, like cockroaches. So when you see one cockroach, you know that there's a hundred more just underneath the surface. And I feel it's the same with these new progressive organizations. Because we don't have the language around them, that, that because it's not common in the zeitgeist, I think that organizations are probably, there are probably millions of them around the world operating in this way, but because there's not the common language yet, they're not identifying as such. For more than a millennia, we've made our assumptions and the stories that we've told ourselves about organizations are based on industrial revolution um, um, methodologies, where at that time, you know, 60 to 80 percent of the workforce was illiterate, and there was only the people at the very top of the pyramid that had the cognitive skills to actually solve problems and build the organization. We know that now to be true, but for some reason we haven't noticed that in our management philosophies. The stories that we, sell our, that we tell ourselves about what organizations are has not been challenged. And if we take a step back, recognize the capacity in every, every human, everybody that's working, if we believe that people have the capacity to grow until they die, if we believe that everybody has the ability to ask for what they need and to make and keep commitments, then that opens up a, f a whole new possibility space for the way that we look at HR and the way that we look at organiz organizing our companies. The benefits of moving to a uh, organization that really pays attention to the ongoing development of everybody in the organization, not just those high potential people, is that certainly in my experience, uh, just the invitation to be more human, to be more uh, in communication with both what's going on for us internally and to be able to see each other just brings benefit of perspective, problem solving capability, creativity to the workplace that is, I don't think is possible unless we're noticing these things.